Good afternoon or evening, everybody. Welcome back to another weather forecast here by Adrian of the Forecast. And we have more updates here on the tropics. Obviously, Nicholas has now became become a tropical depression. And obviously now center across portions of southern Louisiana. However, it's bringing more of that rain now across portions of eastern Dixie Alley, including obviously my area. We've actually seen, I think, point two of an inch so far. And the ranch is going to keep getting uh, more widespread and heavier across Georgia and, and Alabama. So Nicholas, at this point, is here at 30 miles an hour. And now all these advisors are going to start coming from the Weather Prediction Center. Because obviously, as it um, is becoming post-tropical, the National Heritage Center will no longer have advisories on it. So now all the advisories we're getting will be, com will be coming from the uh, WPC. But we're not going to really be focusing on Nicholas in this video. As it's gonna, I just really want to have this video specifically on the upcoming invest, which will be 96 all right here, 95 all right here, and then we have a new invest, which is basically a part of the same AEW where we had 95L. So that's obviously gonna be very interesting. Um, as the overall condition across this area is very conducive, and that's exactly why now 95L is now at a 90% for the next five days and at 80% for the next 48 hours. Watching out for an area of disorganized showers across an area of low pressure. And we're going to really watch out for overall conditions to support maybe a tropical depression likely to form within the next couple of days. So definitely watching out for the possibility that this could very well become a tropical depression, if not even possibly a tropical storm. And based on the conditions, I am not going to rule out the possibility for a brief hurricane with this. I'm going to watch out for the Lesser Antilles. I doubt they're going to get anything landfall-wise, but still watching out because obviously the ridge... And the overall steering can change from now on to later on. As well, 95L, or sorry, 96L is now at a 70% for the next 48 hours and five days. And watching out for an area of low pressure a few hundred miles northeast of central Bahamas. And watching out for an area more conducive for development. A trial depression is likely to form during the next day or so. So this could very well possibly become audit. And then we're going to just watch out which one can form first. It's going to be a very, very close call. Obviously, Invest 95L has a higher probability within the next 48 hours. However, Audit is really, or not Audit, sorry, but 96L is really increasing in probabilities. So we're going to keep a very, very close eye on that. And, of course, we now have a 0-20% uh, little AOI off Africa, a little closer to the actual vicinity of Africa, which is just behind 95L. So we're going to keep a very, very close eye on that. So let's now get a look here at Invest 90, uh, 95L, and there's the actual low pressure right there. Actually, no, it's a little bit further eastward, or sorry, westward. There's the actual low pressure, basically just uh, kind of centered across all of that convection right there. So we're seeing a good amount of cloud cloud uh, cover. We're not really seeing much lightning, we're actually seeing no lightning. So it's just basically those scattered showers, still rather organized and elongated low pressure. We do not have a closed LLC. And we will find out when we get one, obviously, when the storm starts to get its act together and have more centered, fully closed counterclockwise flow, which it, does not, which, which it does not have. However, we are seeing some good westerly flow on the southwest quadrant of the system, as well as seeing a decent amount of overall banding developing here as well with the cloud cover. But again, the main area of showers is going to remain pretty elongated and widespread across the low pressure, seeing rather weak winds. Uh, we don't have any actual... Uh, we don't have actual really information here from ASCAT. The latest pass is very old, and the earliest one that we, the latest pass we actually have is not a full pass. So let's not get a look at the overall convection here. Again, convection is really, really disorganized. It looks like it's trying to find uh, overall uh, a new low pressure. However, it looks like it's going through a journal minimum right now, which is basically this is a very common time to see journal minimums, and this is exactly what is happening. You're seeing really little, uh, really convection. And it's kind of more of a warm core storm at this point, which is why it's so disorganized, but likely to get its act together as it goes into a more conducive environment. And at this point, it should become more cold core later on. So here's a look here at the track forecast for 95L. And as you can tell, we're really watching out for an out of sea storm here based on the overall weak, and weak ridge. And as well, due to the storm getting an overall decent amount of strength uh, or strengthening phase, possibly getting it to a low in category one. This is most likely going to steer to the northwest and stay out of trouble for anywhere in the Lesser Antilles. But again, still pretty uncertain as many things can change. And look, a few of the GFS uh, track uh, assembles uh, members here are actually taking this towards the Caribbean and Lesser Antilles. However, I think that overall you can tell the mean is taking it northwest. This could very well be like a Josephine type, type storm 
where it kind of just goes like that basically kind of just north and it's gonna be kind of rather weak like a decent tropical storm uh maybe even a hurricane uh but it's definitely like not going to be anything too crazy like layering or anything like that and it, i still i wouldn't rule the possibility for some effects across the lesser Antilles and the overall eastern caribbean but i'm not really worried about a landfall as of now based on the steering pattern here's the overall look at the intensity guidance and likely to see a tropical storm uh, within the next 36 hours or so however if you're getting it as early as 24 hours so we're going to see whether this storm can get its act together right now it looks like absolute garbage and obviously this has been an invest for quite a while like maybe two days so it's definitely i'm sorry maybe like a day uh, but it's definitely trying to get its act together right now it's going through journal minimum and obviously it's really losing a ton of convection but it's going to start moving to more conducive environments warmer waters less shear and overall better developing upper level anticyclone which will allow for this to possibly verify and it most likely could very well get to a category one for its peak straight i would not doubt this does become a hurricane whether it's hurricane audette or hurricane peter it's still gonna be very very close call which one forms first but you can see there's been an upward trend within the strengthening forecast as a lot are now getting this to a category two so again really keeping a very close eye on this if this were to verify definitely no threat toward the lesser Antilles. But we would have to keep a close eye on Bermuda and see how the trough plays out and whether it's going to push it east or close towards Bermuda. So here's now a look at Invest 96L. And it actually looks like absolute garbage as well. You can see the overall low pressures right here. You can actually see a good amount of spin right here. That's where they're very broad low pressures. But that is actually the low pressure. And a lot of that convection is just staying to the eastern portion. But this is like an absolute garbage looking Invest as well. This makes the makes 95 95l look like, like an oh like an overall pretty good storm or invest shall i say but this is definitely really just ugly storm you can kind of see an overall decent uh it's like a decent kind of front there uh or some outflow trying to develop right there just to the northeast of the low pressure decent amount of convection trying to develop but this looks like like an extra trop i mean an extra tropical storm looks way better than this but this is definitely not a good looking storm obviously we saw ace got yesterday it was just absolutely trim i mean just overall uh just awful i mean it was it was just uh, horrendous what it looked like on ace scat i wonder how bad it looks now because again we don't have any ace scat data we have no full pass uh on for 96l like i did say i've been saying this for a while before it even formed into an invest that this is not going to impact the united states due to the strong trough steering it away from the u.s coast as well with the Canadian Ridge, obviously bringing it towards the north uh, northeast here. Especially if this does get a decent amount of strengthening, it will start to turn north uh, eastward. Uh, sorry, northwest. Wait, yeah, northeastward. Sorry, northeastward uh, rather quickly as well. So definitely not a threat towards New England. However, we could still see some overall dangerous rip currents and probably some dangerous surf. But other than that, shouldn't be too crazy. Looking at the overall track guidance and the overall uh, overall members from the ensembles, uh, they're really not hinting it towards uh, anything travels from like until it actually goes further up the Gulf Stream, getting it to actually a good amount of members sub 1,000 millibars after the next 72 hours, with some getting it sub 1,005 beyond 72 hours. So we're going to really watch out for maybe some gradual development. So that is leading the possibility that Peter, or sorry, Audet will most likely be 95L. But we will see how 96 up progresses as it goes further into the Gulf Stream. Here's now a look, though, at the overall intensity guidance. And they're going absolutely crazy with uh, the majority, or at least a, a large group, having it form before 24 hours. And I just really doubt that based on what it looks like now. All those going to be going through an overall pretty good conditions with very warm Gulf Stream waters. Obviously, you have really weak upper level shear but they have it forming awfully early in my opinion i mean they have it really forming quite early so if this were to become letter o or sorry yeah letter o i'd be very very shocked based on what it looks like right now but like i did say most likely gonna stay as more of a moderate tropical storm that's exactly what it's looking like right now so we have a lot more ensembles and members jumping on this right now so we get a better idea as we continue on. But look, both, both 95L and 96L are likely to form into a tropical storm, at least a tropical storm, in my opinion. But the only storm or only invest I think that will actually become a hurricane will be 95L. 
Let's now get a look here at the overall GFS uh, 18Z model run. So there's a look at a 95L right there, 96L right there. There's the overall trough, the area of broader and closed isobars. And there you see a really broad trough. I mean, I mean, 95L looks like absolute trash in the latest GFS model. You can just see there's really even a pretty weak trough associated with this as well. I mean, not even not only is the low pressure itself, but the trough is pretty weak as well. And I believe this is going to be the uh, highlighted AOI we have right behind 95L. I'm pretty sure that's what what that is. But their GFS has uh, 96 out of 1,015 millibars, so still rather weak and most likely to be remaining at a high pressure until it moves further up closer to New England. And there is 95L at 1,011 millibars, so it looks like there's a chance that if any of it is in a form first, it's going to be 95L. But look as now we have this storm now 96L going further up the coast and that's where after 72 hours it's likely to get to act together. It could very well even form to a trial depression before the next 72 hours at 1,012 millibars, 1,007 millibars, and then getting as low as 998 and then weakening from on there. But there's a definitely a chance we can get a very brief tropical storm, rather weak tropical storm, maybe 50, maybe even 60 miles an hour. Uh, basically up the far northern Gulf Stream like we saw with Edward or even Dolly of last year. And there's a GFS trending now, a pretty overall good uh, strengthening phase within 95L at 1,000 millibars and then getting into 1,004 and then just gradually weakening. However, the GFS actually has it going into Puerto Rico in the Lesser Antilles because they have it getting rather weak here. They have it really being very weak and due to that, the trade winds will be the big steering pattern instead of the ridge. So it's not going to kind of go out the seat. But if you looked at it, like the earlier runs, like yesterday when they were swinging, getting into the triple digits, they started going it out the seat. And let's now get a look here what the CMC wants to say. So CMC obviously uh, does really does not really show much within 95L until it actually goes into the Caribbean. And look at what the CMC wants for 95L. They want it to become an absolute monster across the big island of the Bahamas where... We kind of have 96L right now, so they have it really being very a uh, broad area of trough, like right here, part of the tropical wave. And then they just really don't get it to act together until like the actual Bahamas, and they have it like rapidly intensifying into 975 millibars. I mean, I have absolutely no idea why they showed that and what makes them show that, but I definitely do not think that is anywhere close to reasonable because not only has like no other model been consistent with that, but not even has the CMC been consistent with that. I mean, let's see what the Zero Z's show uh, for the CMC. Let's see if they showed anything like that, because I know I was definitely not awake during the Zero Z. And yeah, they had absolutely nothing like that whatsoever. So this is definitely a 12 Z moment for the CMC. Definitely not going to happen. So do not freak out. This is not going to be a Dorian 2.0 or um, whatever you want to refer this to. But for, let's see here, looking at uh, the, the CMC has been rather consistent with having... 96L forming, so again, not going to form to really the next maybe 60-ish hour, 60 60 hours or so, 1,008 millibars, and then getting into the triple digits. So this could very well be like an Edward-type storm, even a Dolly-type storm, maybe even like a on a type storm like of last year forming pretty far in the North Gulf Stream. But, but let's now look at the, the, uh, the European here and see what they have, and here they actually have the uh, overall new AOI actually having... Uh, overall pretty decent vorticity signature and definitely worthy of a weak tropical storm there so watching out with the european shoving but then it rapidly dies from that strong sal you can see with that really strong uh really really strong winds coming from the high pressure that's going to pick up some dust and that's going to definitely kill that storm which is why you typically don't have uh really long living storms that kind of go up like that way that's why even invests don't really form up there but the european though does have a decent signature actually vorticity signature later on here for 96L later on as it goes further into the Gulf Stream. There you see the overall trough uh, steering. There's a low pressure. You can kind of see the dip in the jet stream there. That's going to be the pretty big steering pattern within the system. And there you see as well the ridge. Uh, going to be rather weak. So it's going to kind of bring in those overall uh, kind of slowly but overall increasing northwesterly steering. Uh, obviously, if it were going to be stronger, really strong, and the high pressure was like right here, we were talking about a big threat for the uh, for the Lester and Tilly's. But due to being pretty far, uh, kind of pretty far away from the actual system, it's going to have a little bit of a weaker 
of a weaker steering, so it's going to kind of just, just take it like that, basically. And that's exactly what we're going to be seeing here with the European, kind of just taking it exactly up like that. But last but not least, let's actually get to more deeper steering uh, within the system or system. So here's the overall look at we do have a dip in the jet stream, a little, a little uh, low pressure right there, the overall trough. Obviously, there's the ridge behind the steering of Nicholas, and as well, 96 L doesn't have too much steering right now. It's basically just under a north a trough north of its axis, but it's really really rather weak trough or really really weak ridge at this point. As it goes the next maybe uh, 24 hours or so, it's going to be going kind of just away from the actual ridge itself. But the big steering for uh, for 96 L will be the trough we see kind of setting up there across the east coast. And that's going to bring a big factor and be kind of a little bit more of a negative tilted low low jet. And that's going to just keep the storm going anywhere close to the United States. And there you see, I believe that's kind of where, uh, I think at this point, 95 all somewhere over here. And we're going to be seeing a ridge forming north of the axis right there. And that's going to kind of just keep it really kind of going anywhere, kind of this way into the Western Caribbean as well. However, due to the uh, storm being really, really weak here, the trade winds, which obviously kind of go like that, basically, kind of easterly trade winds, is going to just take it steering towards the actual wet or to the actual Caribbean itself, since it's so weak. And it's since it's not since it's pretty weak, it's going to kind of not really get really necessarily steered by the ridge itself. Like if it were stronger, if it were stronger, obviously this ridge would kind of push northward, allowing it for it to go like that. But obviously that's not going to be the case with this one, and. And again, the trade winds will be the main the main steering pattern. However, as it gets uh, as it goes further northwestward, it will interact within a trough uh, T U T T basically. And there you see the steering there that that kind of trough that kind of just pushes it away from the United States.